Can you guess which show I'm doing next? That's right, it's High School Musical. And if you know High School Musical, you know you need cheerleading pom-poms. And my director was not satisfied with any that we found online or locally that we could source. So I've got to make some. And so today we're going to be learning together how to make some pom-poms. I've watched a couple of tutorials on this and I'm going to try and mimic what they do, but also tweak it just slightly. I've seen a lot done with crepe paper and tissue paper, and I'm going to be using plastic tablecloths to make mine today. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future uploads. And with all that said and done, let's jump straight into the video. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Jenny and I am that props girl. As you heard we are making pom poms today and we are diving straight in. Alrighty, so I am surrounded by tablecloths, I have got a whole roll of red and then I have got a metallic red and a silver, a white and a black. And I've made myself a little guide marker, which is 43 centimeters by 43 centimeters because the director and I discussed the size of the pom-poms and it was basically the length of my arm for the diameter. So that's what that is. And so I'm gonna start cutting them up into these shapes basically. Now I want more red than I do white and black. I want more white than black, but red is the most overall if that makes sense. Anyways, we'll figure it out together. What I noticed with the metallic one is that if you cut your square on the open side of the tablecloth and not the fold side, you can actually use the leftover and it opens up to be one sheet of the right side. And now that I'm surrounded by cutoffs of tablecloth, I'm gonna go now and arrange them in a pile of color order that I want. All right, so now that I've arranged, arranged my pile in the order in which I want them to be, I'm going to take my pile, straighten it up as best I can, fold it over once, then over again. Now it's very difficult to keep this neat. I understand that. Here is one I prepared earlier, and if it's not 100%, Oh well. And the best thing you can do is actually use some little bulldog clips to attach that so it doesn't fall apart. And now we're just going to cut strips up each of these so we should have a flat bit in the middle. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads. And while you're there, leave me a comment about what your favorite thing is about High School Musical. Now, it is a bit of a thick cut. You may find like I did that you will just need to cut half of it depending on how many layers you put in. Now, we're gonna take off our clips and unfold this. Oops, I didn't want to do that. And then we'll unfold it to be completely open. Now from here, we're actually just gonna roll it up along the center. Alright, so once we got our roll, and you 
don't know if you can quite see, but I'm holding the middle there. I'm gonna take some tape and just place it over the middle just to hold it in place, like so. Well, they certainly look like pom-poms. And you could totally leave them like that and just tape them. Or you could take something like a toilet roll and cut it down the middle to make it a little bit stronger, depending on what you need. But that looks like it's ready to go. Well, there you go. We figured it out together and I think they look fantastic. Now I just need to see if the director approves uh, of them and their size. And I've got 29 more to make. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.